This is the 2019 Audi Q8, starting price 67.4, up to 76,550. There's a three liter V6 with 355 horsepower, 369 pound foot of torque, and it's propelled with an eight speed transmission. This particular vehicle does have the HID matrix design uh, LED headlights, has LED tail lights with dynamic uh, animation. There's a top view camera system with virtual 360 view, has the single frame grill with body colored mask and headlight washers. There's a power lift gate. It's capable of towing 7,700 pounds. It's zero to 60 speed is 5.6 seconds with a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Ground clearance is five and three quarter inches and its maximum cargo capacity is 60.7 cubic feet. And there it is with Nathan doing the inside review of the vehicle. Give you a quick shot inside. Another quick shot on this side to show you the detail of the multiple screens and the interior. This one does have the panoramic sunroof and the integrated roof rails. This particular version is the S-Type. All right, so here we are in the inside of the Audi Q8. And give you a little overview of everything. Obviously, we have power seats on both sides. Lumbar support. And as with the A7, you have the new MMI technology for the touch screens in front. Again, dual touch screens. And then in the driver's virtual cockpit, which again you can set up um, different uh, um, different settings for you know your seats and your steering wheel and your mirrors and all that stuff according to your key fobs. It's got a beautiful look. The steering wheel here, and then if we look in the center console down here, you have a wireless charger. This one does have some parking features on it that can help you uh, parallel park and uh, do a perpendicular park. Let's take a look at the back. All right, so here's a view of the back end here. We do have a 60-40 split seat back here that can be uh, folded down. And there it is with Nathan doing the inside with you up here. And then again, you have your, I don't know if you can really see here, Again, touchscreen controls for your rear climate control, quad zone again. USB um, outputs down here, as well as a 12 volt outlet. And then you have a center armrest where your cup holders pop up right here. They're about large enough for a can of pop. Otherwise, it creates a nice armrest. We go got a little light down there that helps a little bit and we'll turn this one on okay and we do have seat back pockets for both sides very nice material and then it does have a panoramic moonroof